Hi, I'm Audumbar Patkar and this is lecture 10 of the module Water. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about one important technique that is ion exchange process, also called as deionization or demineralization process. As the name suggests, process helps to remove ions or minerals from water by exchanging ions. Here are the reasons why this process is having so much importance. It produces water of very very low residual hardness. That means when you treat the water with this process, you will get water having less than 2 ppm hardness. So this water can be used in high process boilers. One more advantage of this process is one can soften even highly acidic or highly alkaline water. For this process, we require ion exchange resins. Ion exchange resins are insoluble, cross-linked, long-chain organic polymers with micropore structure. Normally in the form of small microbeds, usually while or yellowish spheres around 1 mm diameter in size and functional groups attached to these polymeric chains are responsible for the ion exchanging properties. Ion exchange resins are of two types cation exchange resins and anion exchange resins. Let's first talk about cation exchange resins. These resins are helpful to remove cations from water. These resins are made of copolymer like styrene, divinyl benzene, which on sulfonation or carboxylation becomes capable of exchange their hydrogen ions with cations in water. So this functional group like COOH or SO3H are actually capable of exchanging H plus ions with other cations from water. These cation exchange resins are generally represented as RH plus. R that is for resin with replaceable H plus ions. Similarly, anion exchange resins are helpful to remove anions from water. So the basic resin is mostly again styrene divinyl benzene which contains amino or quaternary ammonium or quaternary phosphonium group as an internal part of the resin matrix which after treatment with dilute NaOH solution becomes capable to exchange their OH- ions with anions in water. These anion exchange resins are generally represented as ROH-. R is again for resin with replaceable OH- ions. So let's see how this demineralization or deionization process works. This is the diagram for ion exchange process or ion exchanger. As you can see, this is the inlet for raw water, somewhat shower type of arrangement. And this is cation exchange resin bed. And this is again inlet for water and this one is the anion exchange resin bed outlet for soft water alkaline regenerator acid regenerator so this process is carried out in two stages first that is demineralization or deionization we are talking about and second that is regeneration of resin so let's talk about first stage that is deionization process
process. So for this process, we are going to pass the water at specified rate through this bed of cation exchanger which having replaceable H plus ions. So when you pass the water through this cation exchange resin bed, the H plus ions will get replaced with the cations from water and we will get water that is free from all cations. Let's see what actually happens here. This is the fixed bed of cation action resin which is shown in our H plus form. And when you pass the water containing lots of ions, mainly cations, like this, the H plus ions will get replaced with this cations from water and water after this will be free from all such cations and which contains only H plus ions. However, this bed of resin will get converted from RH plus to somewhat new form like RNA plus or R2CA2 plus. When you pass the water which is free from all cations towards this next tank, all the anions present in your water will get replaced with this OH minus ions from this bed of anion exchanger. Let's see what actually happens here. This is the fixed bed of resin which containing replaceable OH minus ions and when you pass the water containing all anions through this fixed bed of resin the OH minus ions will get replaced with these anions from water and you will get to water that is free from all such anions and water after this will contain only OH minus ions so as you can see OH minus ions from this anion exchange bed and H plus ions from cation exchange bed can combine together to give water that is H2O. And what we'll get that is soft water as the outlet. That means water which is free from all minerals or ions, that means cations and anions. And when we pass large quantity of water through this, what we are doing actually that is replacing this H plus ions and OH minus ions with the cations and anions from water. So eventually after passing large quantity of water, this cation exchange bed and anion exchange bed will get exhausted and in such case will not get soft water as outlet. So in this case we need to stop this demineralization process and we need to carry out the second stage that is regeneration of this exhausted bed. So for this, we need to use the acid regenerator like SCL or H2SO4 like solution to regenerate this cation exchange bed. And what we require that is NaOH or KOH like solution, that is alkaline regenerator to regenerate this anion exchange resin bed. Let's see how actually this regeneration of resin takes place in the form of reactions. So this is exhausted bed of cation exchange resin 
and when you pass acid regenerator like HCl or H2SO4 this exhausted resin again will get converted to previous RH plus form and when you pass NaOH or QH like solution through this exhausted resin of anion exchange belt will get converted to again previous R OH minus form with replaceable OH minus ions. So this regenerated resin can again now use for demineralization or deionization process. So this is all about ion exchange process. Thanks for watching. See you next time.